Hey guys, welcome back. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. We're uh, talking with Mr. Monroe on the phone at Jack Kelso because this game doesn't want us to play as Cole Phelps anymore. No one in the game likes Cole Phelps anymore. Nope. Not even Rockstar. No. Better than two hundred and twenty dollars a month. You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? Yeah. Come around to my place at nine. Fifty-one sixty-four Santa Monica Boulevard. A full Come. you up with bullets. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Deep contemplation time. Oh, he's like, what do I do? That phone's not plugged into anything. What the fuck? They don't have cell phones back then. What the, the shit is going on? Alright, I have to meet Leland Monroe. I think Kels is going to die. I still have a feeling it's going to be Phelps that dies. I have a feeling Kels is going to die right now. I have a feeling that they're both going to die. Probably. We unlocked a new caddy. I was just going to say, it's a nice little caddy. Nice old little caddy. Maintenance on that would be a bit. <laughs> yeah. Maintenance on any old car like that would be such a bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at these fuckers. Or the tunnel snakes. <laughs> I appreciate the help of all of you. We can really oh, they're our buddy. Okay. They're all GIs. This is a Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the red. All right. We. Oui. We. Oui. Are you gonna be stealthy? No, I think I just have to kill them all. Fire in the hole. Or not. Fire in the hole. <laughs> No, 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 what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you see this hedge? It's like just attached to the wall. Fuck this hedge. That one statue's tit is hanging out. <laughs> what a slut. What a slag. Oh. It would be funny if that was one of you guys. Oh, I'm a sharpshooter. I never understood that term. Bullets aren't very sharp. Come on. I'm glad they don't make you pick up ammo in this game. Nah, fuck that. Jack. Oop. There it is. Who the fuck is that a statue of? I saw balls. That horse, horse has balls. Like, they actually carved balls onto that horse statue. Good. I saw, like, horse toys. Yeah. Like, little figurines of horses that had, like, the full dick and balls on it. What? I always thought it was hilarious. That's weird. The guns. These guys need a lot of bullets to put them down. Maybe the way what the Kevlar. fuck? Jesus. Tuesday. Oh shit, tell you that early. Well that's why I got mine got sent today. Oh nice. 
I'm probably not gonna pick it up right away, but that's a game I might end up picking up. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Well, that guy's still alive. Oh yeah, because he had to reload right when you were shooting him. Like the second you're actually aimed onto him, you're like, oh, and I'm not Dude! That guy was holding his gun upside down. That's not smart, yo. You're supposed to watch my six, not blow That's it up. A bear. I saw a bear. Cool. It's a bear. That is a bear. That's, oh, that, that is a fucking terrifying bear. There he is. Oh! <laughs> He's shooting the door that you're beside. Because physics. Have you ever played Condemned Criminal Origins? No. There's a fucking section on that game where you're like running through an old cabin and then this huge monstrous bear just starts breaking down like walls and doors and shit and the entire game you're just running away from a bear. Or like the entire section you're just running from a bear. looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to And it's like the most terrifying bear I've seen ever. I'm sure you huh. do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. Don't normally shoot. Who the fuck is that? How about putting the cannon down? Oh, awesome. Well, that's what you get for shooting. Didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at meeting women. <laughs> Monroe. Well, Kessel's kind of a boss now. Yeah. Bitch shoots you in the arm, knock her the fuck out. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. What the f no? Can you no? What are you doing, Kelso? Like I'm sure Thank people you. will be like, that's abuse to women. And like that woman just shot him with a giant gun. Punching her in the face is the least of the gun. What happened to the guys that were like supposed to be helping me? Ah! I think they died. He swears. Kind of funny that like the biggest shootout mm -hmm. isn't even done by Cole. Nope. Like we had that pretty big one in the ice place, but oh yeah. But this is easily bigger. This is a pretty swanky bathroom. It's nice. That's fucking sexy. Holy shit. Yeah, go so. <laughs> That's my opening negotiating position. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get in here? Easy. I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. No. I thought I had an invitation. I'm bleeding too. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. <laughs> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Oh, Kelso, you're pretty badass, I can't really lie. Because he he's not really, like... Phelps is, like, upstanding. <gasps> oh, paper. Oh. I'm going to take a look at this picture, though. Oh, it's from the picture, or the movie. The redevelopment fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> Nah, sorry, I'm gonna read this story. Oh, fuck you, Jack. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money to the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, call me. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're gonna be burned for the insurance. Scandalous allegation. Courtney. 
Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen him. He was almost killed when he found him. This is hardly a flashback. This no, is how this is right now. This is like legit. This is just a flash. Yeah. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Oh, subterfuge. Big words. Jack said it's a property developer named Monroe. Uh oh. He said it was all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was. Uh oh. Get out of there, Courtney! He's gonna get morphine dub or something? Oh, he's Dexter Morgan, Morgan in him. Oh, he's killing him. Let them go. Yep, he killed Courtney. Oh, well. Yeah, fuck. I don't really give a shit. Down you go, newspaper. 9 of 13. What were you looking in here for? Money? Is that a passport? Nope. Little black book. Roy Earl. Whirl. Chandler. Another Sandler's Roy Earl. Twice. I think they're getting paid multiple Three times. times. Yeah, Roy Earl and D. Sandler. Is on three there. Times. For the amount of $450 each time. At least. Well, no, I said the amount. No. 450 each time for Roy Earl. Guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. I'm guessing so. All right. All right, so this is about Fontaine. Oh, uh, smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Alright, I looked at all that shit. Yeah, you can wallow on the ground for a while longer. That's fine. It's not like I give a shit if you die. Yeah. They just can't ask him questions. Yeah, I've asked Which, him. at our, our luck, we'll have probably fail. doesn't matter. Yep, we'll, we'll fail them anyway. Well, let's see if I can look at what's on his desk. No, I already looked at that shit. Thank you very much. This is what I wanted. Sawyer, John Stone, Goldstein, Morelli, Steffens. Oh, some sold up. Nelson. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. That's a fucking mercy. Why would I have mercy on you? Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Hold oh, patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. It's Raven. You want information, cocksucker? You get me some medical help. <laughs> I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he name went off for the, the rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the buck sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Peace. Peace out. Kelso, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor! Scooch. Scooch. Yeah, scooch. <laughs> scooch the bitch. 
Oh, perfect place to end oh. up. Yeah, so we're going to end that there. Uh, so we're getting real close, though, because we're starting to topple the big guys. Yeah, this is like the end of the game section. So we're going to finish up hopefully soon, but we'll see you guys in the next episode. Keep calm and game on. Motherfucker bitches!